Today I am making a vegetarian breakfast casserole. It's going to be low carb, keto friendly and I'm making it with spinach and feta. So I thought I'd film the process. I'll also put together a blog post and share a link to that down below so that you can follow along, pin, bookmark, save and apologies for the noise in the background. My oven is heating up and it's a pretty noisy oven so we'll just ignore that while I talk you through the ingredients and what we're going to do today. So as I said I've got spinach and feta. I want to make vegetarian breakfast casserole with spinach and feta but I thought I'd also add a smidge of garlic and onion too for flavor you can leave that out if you don't want to include that because they are a little higher in carbs than other vegetables but I just find for flavor a good quarter or so of an onion and a garlic clove or two will add heaps and heaps of flavor and then we've got our eggs and our cream and that is going to be our casserole and so what I'm going to do first step number one is I'm going to heat up some butter in a frying pan Ooh, that's another ingredient I'm going to heat up some butter in a frying pan and I'm going to cook my onion and garlic reduce down my spinach and then I'll show you as we put it all together okay I have butter melted in the frying pan I went kind of generous with the garlic and the onion I only eat two meals a day so I'm quite happy to have a little more carbs with my breakfast but if you want to have less go for as much as you want. So we're going to cook this until it's nice and softened and golden and then add our spinach in. The garlic and onion is crispy just how I like it so I'm going to add in all the spinach now and just toss it through. Add a bit more butter if you want, just salt. Just added some butter to get the spinach nice and buttery. It really doesn't take long at all for it to wilt. And then we're going to move it into our baking dish. Okay, so I've got my baking dish ready. We'll pop the veggies in. Okay, and just have them all spread out on the bottom layer of my baking dish. Okay, now we're going to seat our eggs. I'm just going to move that aside for a sec. We'll pop a bowl over here and we're going to get our eggs sent to. I'm going to use six eggs, but use as many as you like. And you're going to have six in the bowl. And we're going to add in a third of a cup of cream. And just give that a whisk together until they're nice and smooth. Now you could add some cheese in here as well if you wanted to. Grate a cheese a little bit in here, a little bit on the top. It's totally up to you but I just feel because I'm doing feta I'm gonna just keep it simple with the feta and I have too many cheese and I usually do like lots of cheese but just for this instance we're gonna keep it simple so there you go it's all whisked up we'll just bring back our casserole veggies and pour it over And now for the feta, we'll just crumble it or pop cubes of it all the way over on top. That's if you love feta like me, or you can just crumble over a little bit, add any other cheese that you like. Or we'll just submerge that little piece of onion or garlic over there. And now it's gonna go into the oven. It's preheated behind me to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna start it with 20 minutes have a look it might need to go up to half an hour even 40 minutes just depends on your oven and how crispy you want your casserole so pop it in the oven and take a look after 20 25 minutes it's out the oven how good does it look the spinach the feta oh, the eggs it's kind of baked up into almost a bit of a pie kind of thing mine only needed actually 20 minutes in the oven but i've got quite a super hot oven so definitely depends on if you if you want you can double the recipe if you double it you're definitely going to need at least half an hour if not 40 minutes to cook it this is only with six eggs because it's just for myself and my husband but remember check down below I'll leave a link to the blog post for the recipe and some variation ideas if you want other kinds of keto vegetarian breakfast casseroles and make sure you leave a like subscribe for more videos and leave a comment too let me know if you give this recipe a try any adaptations you make I look forward to reading your comments and thank you so much for watching this video for keto vegetarian breakfast casserole I'm gonna have breakfast I look forward to tucking into this beauty so thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye!